So we have beautifully round wheel and we have six spokes. Six spokes is real common because one, two, four, yep. Six spokes is real common because even though I didn't, you can get exactly the right distance for your chord length for six is the same as the radius of your circle. So uh, it's just basic geometry, easy one to do. Um, it also relates back to that chord length is the sine of half the angle between the two points times the diameter, which is half. Sine of 30 degrees is 0.5 times the diameter is the radius or half. Anyway, what I'm talking about here is not much to do with that. That's just a side point. The uh, question was about a spoke that was broken through like that. You see this a lot of times on older stuff uh, about brazing it because I saw some of my brazing videos and I really don't recommend this because as you heat this up, it pushes out here and what normally happens is this outer rim will just break right here and explode away in either one piece or two pieces. And a lot of times they hit people even. I mean, they come off with some pretty good, it tends to break them. If you did have to do this, and I've had success about half the time, it's very artistic, not scientific, but thin it down to where there's almost no spoke left, but a little bit left, braise it, keep it cold, do the opposite of what you usually do, which keeping it cold is gonna make it likely that it breaks again next to where you braise it but that's better than exploding the whole thing. Now, if you had a furnace big enough to put your whole pulley in, then you can do that. If you slowly heat it up, and then you can come in here, V it out, braise it like anything else, because the temperature being hot and everything, let's say all of this is at 1200 degrees, we go to the upper end, and we're brazing at 1400. We don't have much expansion in comparison to the rest of the metal. If this out here is at 80 degrees on a warm day and we heat this up to 1400, we've got a lot of expansion. Things are going to break. So that's why you heat it up and you cool it down slow so everything has a chance to move without getting a sudden jolt that causes it to fracture.